Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. In this video today, I'm really excited to show you a feature that I figured out how to bring in color coded areas into your Earthworks machines. It's a VCL option that comes out of Business Center. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it, but this is the feature that is capable for your operators out in the field is to color code the different areas just like we would do in a takeoff report in Business Center. So in plan view here, you can help your operators not just have a sandy background, but you can also show them the color coded areas based on green right here for landscaping, building pad, sidewalks is the blue area. We've got two different, um, he we got heavy duty, which is the yellow in the parking lot here, and this lighter gray, which is light duty. This is a feature that I think is really going to help out a lot of operators. It would have helped me as an operator and as a survey foreman at one point, helping out guys understand different areas and the different thicknesses. This is plan view. It works in plan view. It also works in 3D. The colors do not have to be specific colors to the program. You can color code the colors in the areas as you will. So this is an example of a completely filled in Here's another job site that I didn't color code everything in, so we still have a lot of the same sandy background areas that come in with the normal model, but I've isolated where the roadway is right here. The blue is the heavy duty, and the red is a light duty, and the green represents the uh, sidewalk and buildings, etc. These can be customized however you want to, but it does have to be exported out of Business Center this way. And it is a layer because it's a VCL option, so you can go into the shovel with the gear here, and go down to the uh, layer manager and if you have these set out you can turn them on and off based on boundaries or whatever you have in here so it is an option that can be turned on and off especially if you're going to run mapping and use mapping on your job site the mapping and the color coding will get in each other's way so let's show you how to do it in business center so here's another project that I have in Business Center. I'm going to show you how to color code these areas. There's two ways to do this. In this video, to keep it short, I'm not going to show you the full takeoff option. This is a takeoff report that I've prepared for this project under the takeoff tab at the top. This is where we've gone through and we've done MSI Manager. We've made site regions. We've identified them. We've validated the areas. This is the, the easiest way to close in boundaries and closed in areas to get your colors, but it is a little bit time consuming on prep. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this to where you can actually just draw them in as polygon lines and export them out manually that way. And we'll also put some text in here so that the operators can see how to do this. So this would be the basic way to do it if you didn't have a takeoff option in your business center. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, in order to get started to building in these colored areas without doing the takeoff tab, what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to do a line string, but not as an actual line string as you see here at the top in the CAD tab. You can't do a line string or a polyline in this work in this work for the machines. What you have to do is if you drop that down, there's a polygon right here. So in polygon, this is where we're going to draw in the areas. What I've got right here is a pretty good sized project, but for the sake of this video being smaller, I'm going to just do this north end right here. What we've got is a building right here, which is what I call a concrete pop-up building, stand-up wall. We've got a loading dock right here, and then drive all the way around the outside with parking stalls and a drive area and parking for smaller cars. But this is going to have a heavy-duty traffic area and a light duty. And down here, there's some more parking. We're just going to draw in this area just to show you how to do this. It's a little bit of a manual process doing it this way, but it's very re rewarding when you see it in the machine. So if we drop this down and go to Polygon, we're not worried about the name as much. Right here, I've got a layer that's called the Polygon Colored Area. And then for the filled area, you can go ahead and put the color right here. So for the deeper area, for the, the heavy-duty traffic, I'm going to do a dark blue. So now it's just a game of basically drawing it in like you would a normal line string. 
You can either snap to an actual known elevation like this, or you can just snap a line and if there's or a point, and if there's no elevation, you can just put zero in there. It's not really based off of elevation at this point. So let's just go ahead and draw in a area here for our heavy duty traffic. There's our heavy duty traffic area that we're going to call that out right now. So it'll be a darker blue. We'll add the text later on. So let's go ahead and do a new one at this point. But we're going to go ahead and just change the color on it. We're going to do uh, a cayenne, a little bit lighter blue to show that it's going to be high, a higher spot. So we're going to fill in this area where the cars would park that it doesn't need to be a full thick asphalt. Once again, this is just a visual for your operators to be able to see the difference in the areas here. So once that's filled out, we'll just kind of go through these different areas here. Okay, once we've got the heavy duty and the light duty, I am going to color in a couple concrete areas here just to uh, just to show the building pad. So what we can do is go ahead and do a new line string, and I do this just so I can change the color right here. So on the color, let's do a building pad right here. We'll do that as red just to kind of kind of isolate between the concrete of the sidewalk versus the actual building for the operator. So there's our building pad, if you will, right there. And then let's go ahead and do a concrete area. Change that color to a uh, maybe a dark gray. Kind of isolate out the, the loading dock here. So there is other concrete area in here. There is some other landscape areas. But what I'm really wanting to do to show you in this is just to how to isolate the heavy duty, light duty areas. And what you could do here also for the operator is give them text on the screen. So in the same CAD right here, you can go to uh, uh, move over to the drafting and you can do text. So right here, you can do this. You could put this on a uh, different layer. So I've got polygon text and we'll go ahead and change the size maybe down to a, a three. So it's not too big. So maybe right here we could put this is uh, six inches. We'll, we'll put asphalt. Uh, six inches um, and what you can do is go ahead and put those on the screen right here so they can see it you could put it in a couple different areas so that they don't necessarily get the two different areas wrong if you want and then what we could do is for the light duty areas put what the elevations are for that we can put asphalt four inches and put those in these different areas
And if you need to rotate those, once they're in there, you can click on them and, and make them a little bit more oriented. So as they're driving along, it doesn't look like it's going off the screen. So now that we've got all those areas on there that show that it's four inches to six inches, it's all color coded out. What we're gonna do is export this as a VCL file. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the surface that's on here and I'm gonna come up here to the top left of my screen and hit export. We're gonna to go to the construction tab right there, VCL project link exporter, and we're gonna grab all of this that I wanna see in the machine. So I'm gonna highlight all that. We're gonna go ahead and send this to Earthworks. All right, now that I've logged back in and I've come into my Earthworks and I've imported that, under my project here for Site Tech Wheeler Training, I've got a project down here that I brought in, the Site Tech Finish Grade Colored. I'm going to go ahead and hit Apply. And as soon as we go to the main screen, we're going to instantly see the model that we brought in all color coded in just on the north end right here. So in plan view, we can zoom down in here and actually see the separation in between the light duty and the heavy duty. We've got our call out here for six inches, four inches. We can kind of scroll around here and this will help the operator actually isolate the areas. Normally we would call these out or just line them out, but now it's a lot easier to see what's concrete here, the building and uh, the call outs on the screen. It also works in 3D. So if we roll it into 3D, we can see our building right here. We've got kind of elevated up in the air, our different projects or buildings right here, but now the operators can roll it, see it, it works both ways, even though the line did have elevations in certain areas and not, it still comes out right in Earthworks right here. So the other cool part is since it was a VCL file, once again, you can go to your shovel with the gear right here and you can go down to the layer manager and you can turn on and off what you need to see. So you can turn off the uh, colored areas if it becomes an issue by just unclicking that and it goes back to that same sandy background. You can turn off the text items right there in the polygon text if it needed to go. Um, if it also is an issue seeing the screen, what I've got turned on right now is the dark background. So if you come back into your menu here, you can go to the dark theme. This is what it would look like without that. So it does lighten things up quite a bit, but it's a little bit more of a purple color now. So in order to pop those colors out, you gotta go to the tablet with the gear right here and uh, do the dark theme right here. You can just do the one. Kind of helps pop that out. The other one you can do to help really make these areas shine is the layers manager up here at the top right. I call it the stack of papers for overlays. If you go down in here with the newer versions of Earthworks, you can turn off that sandy background in the back and that really, really isolates the colors of these different areas right here. So the, the red building, then we've got our um, heavy or the, the concrete over here. It's pretty, pretty cool. So hopefully this will help. I'm planning on doing quite a few videos on this, uh, different aspects of it. I'm going to do some for pipes where you've got utility lines. This will really help out if you've got um, as-built utilities that you need to make sure you're not hitting the uh, yellow for the gas line and the red for power, all that. Normally we do avoidant zones or just draw line strings on there, but now you can color code those areas in with you know, a good four foot boundary around them. We can do this for pipe, anything. It's uh, pretty cool. So hopefully this helps. I appreciate all of you watching this video from Site Tech Intermountain, Earthworks training videos on color coding and color mapping areas in your Earthworks machines.